can, can I get your name and where you're from if you, if you don't mind? I'm Kai. Kai, can I get spelling for you? Straight buddy? out of Dogtown, K-A-I. Well, first of all, hola chulas. And um, anyone, you know, everyone. Chulas is a catch-all term here. Everyone is welcome here. Um, wow. Okay, so a lot has been going on lately. Oh my god, there is YouTube tea abound these last two weeks, I swear on my life. And of course, I'm loving it. I'm loving every single second of it. I'm soaking it all in. We, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, but I know it was like Gemini season, so everyone was kind of acting a mess. But what I would like to talk about is Jimmy Snow and Gabby Hanna and Rachel Oates, which I have been watching a lot of videos about this and that's why I have so many feelings because I have met so many men just like Jimmy Snow. Just like the way that he's showing himself to be right now. I have met so many men like this and I'm just irritated beyond belief. Like, And I guess that a lot of this actually transpired last year. It was certainly before I was making content or before I was aware of Rachel Oates. And Honestly, like, I mean, I've always been, like, aware of Gabby Hanna, but I, I know that everyone dislikes her, and I know why they dislike her, and I don't disagree, um, but I've never talked about her before, just, <laughs> which, I don't know, <laughs> apparently, according to the algorithm, that's what we have to do in order to get popping up, so here we go, I'm doing it, I'm, I'm talking about Gabby Hanna, but really, I'm talking about Jimmy Snow, so, We'll start with Jimmy Snow because he's the one that I am the most familiar with. I've watched his content for a very long time um, because he talks about like his experiences like as an ex-Mormon and I that was just content that was really appealing to me for some reason. His newer stuff, now he is like hosting um, a segment he likes to call The Sometime Show, which I will be honest and say that I pretty much by then had lost all interest in his content just because he has been steadily making changes to what he is doing and the direction that he was taking his content in just wasn't something that I was necessarily looking to watch. I kind of fell off on watching him for a while now, but I still am subscribed to him because, I mean, I would still like to support this person, or I guess I thought that I was <laughs> still wanting to support this person. That's that's who Jimmy is. He's um, a political commentator, um, religious, you know, atheist, um, skeptical, kind of one of those guys, which... Um, yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> and then there's gabby hannah who i i know she was like vine girl moved over to youtube and people dislike her because she's pretty er erratic and mean and nasty and fucking sick twisted bitch yeah she just seems like she has a lot going on um all the time and she's really not handling it very well <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. There's <laughs> Rachel Oates, who, um, in my opinion, really didn't do anything wrong <laughs> in this situation, and she has been the one who has suffered the most consequences. Um, Gabby Hanna actually had all of her fans go and report her Instagram, and she lost her personal Instagram that she's had for years, cataloging her life. And I know, oh my god, like that would be so tragic to have so many pictures of your friends, your family, your pets. Um, know memories vacations just different things like that and you just lose it all like that's really kind of unfair and i feel like i don't know i'm definitely if they're you know if anyone's questioning where i stand in this situation i'm definitely on rachel's side because i legitimately don't think that she did anything wrong so i guess um gabby writes books gabby writes poetry books and she is very, you know, self-conscious of it or, you know, wants people to like it, obviously. No one wants to put something out and then have everyone hate it or reject it or, you know, review it, like, very negatively. And there, I mean, I'm going to say I'm going to be open... I'm going to be fair and say that there are a lot of people who probably hate on Gabby just because, um, just to be an asshole or to be a jerk or just to be negative. Like, there are people like that out there, of course. Um, but Rachel, who is a book YouTuber, she reviews books and re reviewing Gabby Hanna's poetry book, was not one of those people. She was like giving her legitimate criticism. I have watched some of Rachel's videos, and she is. She's very um, like fair in her review, and her criticism is always very constructive. And she's, girl, she's talking about pantameters and all this sort of like A and a and b and then the the syllables and everything like she was getting really into it and if gabby hannah's book is anything like my poetry book threw it out the window didn't make any sense whatever who i'm we're, we're making it up as we go along i totally get that like 
if Rachel is reviewing Gabby's work from like this really professional, um, like actual <laughs> um, structured <laughs> a place of knowledge <laughs> that's where Rachel's coming from she's coming from a place of knowledge <laughs> and reviewing Gabby's book that took none of this into consideration and so yeah obviously Rachel's gonna have a couple things to say <laughs> and then Gabby was releasing a new book and actually sent it to Rachel to review which is something that book um book people <laughs> book writers and authors do all the time they send um their books out before they are released to different critics and uh, reviewers to have them write a piece on their book so that people have something to go off of when it comes out right um so yeah that's what happened gabby sent her book to rachel and rachel was going to give it a fair review that in no way uh entitles gabby to have a positive re review because she sent rachel her book for free <laughs> i don't know if that's what gabby thought but it's possible <laughs> it's not how that works honey <laughs> so how does jimmy snow all fit into you know where does he come in how does he fit in here and why do i think he's a bad friend and a white knight and maybe also even kind of a s kind of a simp that's just my opinion these are only allegations i can neither confirm nor deny if jimmy snow is in fact a simp which i do kind of tend to think that he might actually be <laughs> he is exhibiting a lot of simp like qualities <laughs> And I think at this point, he might even walk across burning coals for Gabby Hanna. <laughs> Jimmy has been friends with Rachel for a long time. They um, both described their relationship as being very close, and um, they each considered each other like to be one of their best friends, which obviously that's not something that you would just take for granted. Like To call someone your best friend like means something, or at least in my opinion, it means something. There's like a history of trust and confidence in this person, enough for you to say that they are your best friend, right? Like That is not something that I would just say to anyone, right? Not just anyone could be my best friend. But that's just me. Jimmy is friends with Rachel for years and years, and they are, you know, each other's like they're in each other's support system and they turn to each other in hard times. Well, then Jimmy at some point in time becomes also friends with Gabby Hanna. And Gabby and Rachel already have this history of contentious past because um, Rachel is reviewed Gabby's poetry books again fairly and constructively and from a position of like what she knows what she's talking about so yeah gabby um talks to jimmy about how she's feeling stressed out in anticipation over rachel's review of her book and jimmy then turns and tells rachel on the day that she posted her fucking video he messages her and tells her there's another person on the other side of the computer when you're giving your review. So just remember to be fair and, and you know, to be considerate or whatever, yada, yada, yada. I'm, I'm not going to read it verbatim. I'll put a screenshot up here next, next to my face so you know what I'm talking about and you can read it for yourself. But the audacity, the gall, the gumption to be out here on the day that you posted the video, on the day that she posted the video, you're going to slide into her inbox and message her this? This all happened because Jimmy was like clearly uninterested in the content that his friends were producing and he even so much as admitted that in his apology video which was a bottom tier apology and definitely did not address the things that needed to be addressed like he he like he <laughs> is operating in this situation with little to no information right he openly admitted that he did not do any research before he sat down to film the apology video took rachel's words and twisted them around um to make himself look better but in reality or to make himself look better he says to make rachel look worse or that he <laughs> accidentally <laughs> makes rachel look worse when he just makes himself sound like a shitty friend 
Sounds like someone who could be your best friend for years, but never watch your content and never know exactly what kind of, you know, what kind of passions you have or, or to support you in any real kind of way. Like, I don't understand how that could even be. Like, if you're really going to be friends with someone, but you've never watched something that they do, you're not <laughs> actively supporting their content enough for you to just believe Gabby when she says that Rachel is being mean to her. Ooh, Rachel's being mean to me. You, you just take that on face and then you turn around and, and ask your audience to not just take things at face, to uh, turn around and ask you if it is something that is true or if it is something that you did. What are you talking about? How could you ask your audience to do that and then not even do that for your own friends or not even practice that in your own life? So irritating. Honestly, I feel like this is all just coming from a place of Jimmy Snow this is my opinion, these are only allegations I can neither confirm nor deny, but I honestly think that he's just simping after Gabby. Well, he says that she did not ask him to, to make that post or to send a message to Rachel. But sometimes you don't have to ask for things to get what you want. Like, <laughs> especially if there's someone that you know, like feels some kind of way about you and you kind of know that you have them wrapped around your finger, you could really get <laughs> you could get a lot of things done with that person if you really wanted to if like you were really the kind of person to take advantage of that <laughs> like it just is what it is like if you know that someone is feeling that way about you or feeling some kind of way about you or they think you're hot or whatever that's like <laughs> of course yeah why wouldn't Gabby use that to her advantage like are we really gonna give her credit enough not to be manipulative in this situation and I think ultimately that's what it comes down to is that Jimmy's a bad friend because he put this other person before a friendship that he's had for years someone that <laughs> described him as their best friend and um, you have also said that Rachel was one of your closest friends, so at the start of his apology video He was very open very honest saying that yes, he's only filming this um, Reaction video or this reaction video. He's only filming his apology video because he had noticed the impact that this whole drama whole tea whatever has had on his channel and he recognizes that <laughs> he is suffering or that his numbers are suffering as a result thereof of him being involved in all of this yeah <laughs> only makes sense same time like it's just so sad to watch someone sit there and beg for 50k views on content that like nobody really asked for <laughs> it's just not content that i care to watch and not that i matter or that my opinion really matters at all but <laughs> bruh this is not it he is literally like doing the exact thing that he is so critical of right he's just taking taking information and not fact checking it for himself not doing any research just accepting things at face value how how <laughs> i just don't know if he really has fully grasped the irony of the situation right like does he know does he know that he looks foolish right now because I bet he does not. I bet he really doesn't. I saw a comment that said, Jimmy Snow still radiates Mormon man energy. And when I tell you that I cackled so hard, I felt my soul leave my body and get its own planet. <laughs> they said he still radiates Mormon man energy. <laughs> it's just too true don't get it how you could with your whole chest openly admit that you are such a bad friend that you never supported uh watching your friend's videos and you would never read your friend's poetry book like i don't know if you think that's supposed to absolve you of anything or give you less responsibility or less accountability in this situation that you never cared to involve yourself but really all it did was make you look like a trash friend and a simp and a white knight and you're like questioning people like why were people obsessed or upset when I first became friends with Gabby Hanna and this is literally why is it not is it not literally why everyone was like why are you why are you supporting someone who would do this and say things about your best friend and I guess my opinion how I think and how I feel um is that anyone who is a friend of mine claims to be a friend of mine but could still be a friend of someone like Gabby 
who had said ridiculously awful and ugly and horrible things about my name all over the internet and even so much got my Instagram canceled, taken away, removed. And you're still going to be friends with her and claim to be friends with me? I think she deserves every right to be as mad as she wants to be because that's a bad friend. That is a bad friend, not someone that you would want in your corner. And I don't know, man. I think people are just like finally kind of getting, I don't know, like Jimmy's just putting off a vibe. I don't know if that vibe was always there. He himself has admitted that he was previously like a, a toxic person and he's like changed his ways. And I think that that's incredible. Like I'm, I'm glad that he's able to recognize that in himself and able to make changes. Um, but it still sounds like there are some things that he needs to work on, like anyone else, right? Because it just made me feel some type of way. Like, I've just known so many guys like Jimmy um, who, <laughs> I don't know, it just really seems like he's putting, um, he's putting Gabby before Rachel for... Not exactly the most, like, altruistic of intentions, right? Like... <laughs> If he's willing to sacrifice a relationship that he has had for years for this person that he was like really admittedly not very close to, not as close to at least. I've been there, man. I've simped. I know what it's like to simp. Don't. <laughs> I've been there. It hurts. It's painful. And uh, yeah, you you might you might just about do anything. But difference between me and you, Jimmy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do my friends like that. I would not put um, my, 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 my simstress <laughs> over my friends. If you like this video, then you can leave it a like. And if you like me, then you can subscribe to this channel. And I'll be putting out more videos of whatever, whatever, you know, whatever, man. I kind of just make videos whenever I feel like it, so... <laughs> If that's what you're here for, then, yeah, subscribe to this channel. And I hope you, yes, you, have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing rest of your day. <laughs>